I want to offer uh, an addendum to the day. Uh, I have listened to a few books on tape during this uh, trip. Uh, and I can remember where I was on the trail as I was listening to various parts of these books. So, for example, I started listening to uh, Michelle Obama's autobiography, Becoming, uh, north of the Gila River alternate, rises up and goes over a uh, miles of just sort of open land, kind of dull and boring, really. But I got to listen about her childhood, which was fascinating. And similarly, I finished the book as I was doing miles of road walking uh, into Cuba, uh, New Mexico. The most recent book that I've been listening to is on quantum mechanics. It's actually the second one uh, during this trip. Uh, but the first one wasn't very good. Uh, this is a, a book on tape. I think it was made for audio tape rather than made for a hard copy book. Absolutely fascinating. And quantum physics is sort of one of those things. Let me just stop right here due to the roar of the cascade below. Uh, that is fundamental to nature. And it's true. It's been tested empirically hundreds, thousands of times. And it is true, even though it's so weird that some of the original uh, quantum physicists uh, and, for example, those uh, developing uh, the atomic bomb would invariably say, this is, this is crazy, this can't be, it can't be. To which the response was, shut up and calculate, because it was true. And they wouldn't have been able to develop the bomb without quantum mechanics, because you get a different answer that is not true. Uh, physicists and everybody else are still trying to figure out what quantum mechanics means. One of the things that uh, intrigued me was a year or two ago I read that many uh, physicists are now coming around to the idea idea of the many worlds theory that for every quantum event a whole universe the universe divides so there are billions trillions quadrillions of universes complete universes existing side by side we, we can't understand what that means it's another one of these weird science things but uh, I'm trying to wrap my mind around that and see what it means. I mean, it occurs to me right off the bat, it goes a long way in solving the problem of pain uh, that uh, philosophers and theologians have been wrestling with for centuries. And also, uh, it goes a long way in resolving free will versus things like double predestination. If you have multiple worlds, every choice goes one way, uh, but yet there's, a, there's a, a rhythm to the universe. So anyway, just uh, one of the things that I am thinking about, even though I have finished the book, um, what I'm thinking about right now as a result of it, I will almost certainly listen to the book again later on, just because it was so much to digest. So another thought for today.